Hi, I'm Matthew with Enabling Ecom, and what is really important when you're launching a product on Amazon FBA is your product research. It is extremely important. I'm gonna talk about a few of the things, but I have launched several six and seven figure brands on Amazon for myself as well as for clients. And the key to those is to, you know, not waste your time launching a product, not waste your capital in uh, launching a product in a low pro probability situation because you're gonna have a total loss. And th this is why it is so important, so important to cover your uh, product research prior to even investing any money. Now, uh, some of the things you're gonna wanna consider when you're planning your product research is market demand. So you can, you can measure this with tools like Helium 10, uh, you could use Keepa, but uh, Helium 10 does a great job at measuring product demand, product search volume, and things like that. Are people searching for the product that you want to sell? So number one is the market size, the product demand. And also if you're launching a very specific product in a sub niche, what is demand in that sub niche? Do you, do you expect demand to actually pick up? Uh, do, you, do you think you're gonna bleed into the other niches and pick up some demand outside of the sub niche? You really gotta understand search volume, you know? And that's where the product research comes in. So product research, we'll get into that a little bit. Now, the second thing is uh, strength of competition. So you have your product demand questions answered in your product research. You're gonna wanna look at strength of competition and let's say you're selling Lego block toys but you're doing your own brand. So how would you do your product research? Well, why don't you type in you know toy blocks or Lego blocks and see what comes up. See all the product pages that you might be competing against and see their uh, reviews, their pricing, and their sales rank and all this stuff. Uh, Helium 10 allows you to pull all the keywords that those competitors are ranking for. So you're gonna wanna understand that. Helium 10 also allows you to pull what ads your competitors uh, are running or the, the keywords that they're running their ads on. So you're gonna wanna really understand your strength of competition. If your competition with your Helium 10 data polls is showing that your competition is spending a lot on advertising, they're advertising on 5,000 keywords or what have you, then you're gonna understand that's a strong competitor, especially if their listing pictures are great, they have high reviews, they're defending their turf with high advertising. That's a high competition area, especially if several competitors are doing the same thing. And that may be an area with your product research that you may wanna avoid. Meanwhile, on the flip side, if the competitor is not advertising at all, which I've seen products that sell pretty good, um, but they're not even advertising because they've been around for three years, they have this internal repeat customers, let's say, and then maybe the niche didn't really even have much demand, uh, or I'm sorry, much competition, okay? Maybe the niche doesn't really have any competition. So that uh, these competitors, they're not spending on ads, okay? Their uh, ratings are like three, their product ratings are three, three and a half. So if you could come in four or four and a half, if you have a slightly better product, man, you're gonna win. And then maybe their main pictures aren't optimized or their secondary pictures. Strength of competition. So, you know, that is really something you need to consider. And then another big aspect of things to consider is your profitability. Can you even make money? I mean, are the product selling for $10 uh, that you're trying to sell? That's gonna be a really, really hard thing to make money on. Are the products average selling price $30? Well, now you have a really good chance to make money. Maybe you could buy it landed from China for five. You're gonna have a huge margin to work with, to pay Amazon their fees, to pay for advertising, because you're gonna need to do that if you haven't thought about that before you're gonna have to advertise your product on Amazon and you're gonna have to learn how to do that or hire agencies so remember these three aspects that I talked about are really really important in your let's call it pre-market research before you even commit any capital do this research please do this research prior to uh, laying down any money for a product order. Now, some common mistakes in a product launch or when you make that purchase order, you're all excited, you're ready to go, you think the world is gonna be like amazing, you're gonna sell millions of dollars of your product. Well, a couple key things that you're gonna need to really make sure you take care of because it's mistakes people make. One. Get a trademark on your brand. You need this for the advanced capabilities of product launch on Amazon, 
for the advanced conversion tactics like A plus content and brand content and the brand analytics. So brand analytics is something Amazon gives uh, registered trademark owners access to and it is a treasure trove of data that's gonna help you really, really blow up your product uh, in success and make a lot of money. The, the more data, this is a world of data, the more data you can actually have access to, oh boy, watch out. And so a mistake that people make is they don't budget or they don't factor it in the need for a trademark uh, registration. You're gonna need it, do the research, get into it. Uh, I'll do a future show on that. And then the second thing that a major miss of most Amazon sellers that are beginners or intermediates is the need for ad spend on launch, the massive amount of ad spend you're gonna have to do. You're gonna be really uncomfortable with it unless you really get comfortable and understand what you're getting into. You may be spending, you may be losing $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, you know, uh, I watched a podcast where somebody launches nutritional supplements and in the categories that they target, they're losing 30 grand a month for three to six months. Then at that point, they're cutting it loose or they found success. So in the segment that you're, you're gonna attack, a common mistake is underestimating that expense. That is a major expense. If you thought you were gonna get into Amazon and only invest five grand in inventory, and everything's gonna go smoothly and you're not gonna have money to invest money in a trademark or ad spend or great product pictures. You need to reassess the situation and do more research. Check out more videos on my channel. Subscribe to my channel, in fact, right? So uh, these are important concepts that you need to really pay attention to in your product launch. Listen, I hope you found this really, really helpful. I will be following up next week some, with some more product launch tips for you. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time.